Is there an easy way for my students to get rid of the solvent from this reaction workup? <laughs> Come here. Okay, thankfully, simple distillation is not the only method. Let's go to the stagehands and see how to use the rotary evaporator. The rotary evaporator, usually communal in the teaching laboratory, is the piece of equipment used for the rapid removal of solvents by distillation at reduced pressure. This equipment is distinctive by the fact that the distillation flask is rotated during the removal of solvent. This performs the two important functions of reducing the risk of bumping and increasing the rate of volatilization of solvent by spreading the contents around the walls of the flask in a thin film. The evaporating flask, any round bottom flask possessing a standard taper joint, is connected through a splash adapter to a glass sleeve called a vapor duct. The splash adapter stops refluxing solvent from returning to the evaporating flask and prevents contamination of the vapor duct if your sample bumps. The vapor duct passes through a seal which maintains a vacuum and allows for rotation. The vapor duct leads solvent vapor from the flask through a vacuum seal onto a spiral condenser and the condensed solvent is collected in a receiving flask which is connected by means of a hemispherical glass joint. The motor unit for rotating the flask is housed above the point of the seal and the rate of rotation may be varied. The whole unit is mounted on a stand which permits easy vertical movement of the rotary evaporator for introduction of the evaporating flask into a heating bath. The condenser outer jacket is attached to the water aspirator through a water trap and the removal and application of vacuum is controlled by using the stopcock at the end of the condenser. During evaporation, the reduced pressure within the system will tend to hold the distilling flask firmly in place. However, never rely only on vacuum to hold the evaporating flask. Use clips to prevent problems arising from poor or variable pressure at the water aspirator. To use the rotary evaporator, fill the evaporating flask no more than one half full with your solution. Ensure that the receiving flask is empty of solvent and that cold water is passing through the condenser coils at a slow but steady rate. Turn on the water aspirator to its fullest extent and then attach the evaporating flask through the splash adapter to the vapor duct using clips to ensure that the flask and adapter stay in place. At this point, no heat is supplied. Commence slow rotation. Listen for the change in sound made by water rushing from the aspirator to indicate reduction of pressure. Close the stopcock at the end of the condenser. Regulate the speed of rotation to spread the solvent out around the flask without causing it to splash. If the mixture begins to boil uncontrollably, temporarily open the stopcock at the top of the condenser to allow the entry of air. Then, reclose the stopcock. Once the evaporation from the solution has stabilized, turn on the heat to warm the water bath. Be ready to remove the flask immediately there is any indication that the mixture is beginning to boil too vigorously. As most common solvents begin vaporizing, some condensation may be seen in the splash bulb. The majority of vapors will condense to liquid in contact with the cooling coils in the condenser. The condensate is collected in the receiving flask. The last traces of solvent are difficult to remove from samples, so leave the flask on the rotary evaporator for a few minutes after the last of any solvent is seen running into the receiver. The sequence is important. Never lower the evaporator flask into a hot water bath. It will most likely produce vigorous boiling and foaming and loss of material into the receiver flask. 
when you are satisfied that all of the solvent has been removed from your sample, stop the flask rotating and raise it from the heating bath. If you reverse the order of these operations, you will get wet with spray from the flask. Open the stopcock to allow air into the system. Remove the flask. Then turn off the aspirator and condenser water. Empty the contents of the receiver flask into the container designated for used solvents, not down the sinks. Replace the receiver flask. Finally, check that the splash adapter and vapor duct are clean to eliminate future problems with the vacuum seal and to prevent contamination of the next user's sample. Let us review the steps.